Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. On Tuesday, Kelowna RCMP identified the man who was found dead in a truck in Myra Bellevue Provincial Park on March 22nd. Alexander Lewis Hegedus, a 54-year-old Peachland man who owned a local painting company called Canadian Painters, was found on the Myra Bellevue Forest Service Road just before 4 p.m. While police have not said how the man died, the RCMP Serious Crimes Unit, which investigates homicides, has taken the lead on the investigation. Police hope by releasing the man's photo and name, anyone who saw Hegedus prior to the discovery will come forward. A gas war sprang up in Vernon this week, with prices dipping to 104.9 cents per litre. Dan McTeague, an analyst with GasBuddy.com, said the Canadian Tire and SuperSave gas stations drove the war, forcing the competing stations to match their below-cost prices. Stations were purchasing their gas at $1.22 per litre this week, meaning stations were losing money as they tried to compete. The battle appeared to ease Thursday night, with most stations moving back to 127.9 cents per litre. It was a soggy march for Penticton this year, with Environment Canada recording its wettest march ever. 70.4 millimetres fell on the South Okanagan City last month, almost three times more than the average March precipitation. The most significant rain events happened on March 2nd, 14th and 22nd. A fire quickly overtook a large house in McKinley Landing Tuesday night, completely destroying the home. The lone woman inside, Bonnie Kretschmer, was unaware of the fire, but was alerted by a volunteer firefighter. A GoFundMe page was started to help the couple, who lost all their belongings in the fire. But on Thursday, the couple said they'd prefer that any of the money raised go towards the Kelowna Fire Department, or a charity of their choosing. The search for a missing 72-year-old man was suspended Tuesday, after search crews spent a week scouring all through West Kelowna. Lawrence Hamilton was last seen leaving the Lakeview Lodge at 3 p.m. on March 25th, where he was visiting his mother. The man was known to be an avid walker, who could cover large distances in a short amount of time, making the search area vast. While the search has been suspended, search and rescue crews are still investigating leads. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Looking for things to do? Find our event section under our blue Our Town button in the yellow masthead. Also, post an event for free anytime. <laughs>